you may have four terms in a polynomial, so you will do factor by grouping method. Now, after factoring the polynomial by grouping method, you may find one of the factors to be a difference of square. So you should factor that too. Let's see some examples. Now in this example we have one, two, three, four terms. So we are going to use factor by grouping. So we will consider the first two as a group, which is 2c cubed plus 3c squared. In minus parentheses we have 2c plus 3. Well, now here we have 2 times c times c times c plus 3 times c times c. So the common factors are c and c, so which I'm going to write c squared in brackets. What is left? 2c plus 3 minus, well, there is nothing to do in here. We are going to copy and paste the second term, which is 2c plus 3. Now, you see 2c plus 3s are common here. So we will take these out. We will say in 2c plus 3 parentheses, we have c squared left minus 1. Now obviously you see here we have c squared minus 1 which is actually a difference of squares. So we have to factor this too. Like it will be 2c plus 3 here. On the other hand I will have c minus 1 times c plus 1. This is how I factor this polynomial by using the grouping method first and then factoring the difference of squares. Now it's your turn. Please solve these questions. Factor the polynomials by using factor by grouping method. Please factor these polynomials and show me. Now you will get two marks when you finish this exercise set.